This documentary was brought to you by Gorton History Channel. Jacques Maquette was born on June 1, 1637 in Lyon in France. Louise Joliet was born on September 21, 1645 in a French settlement near Quebec. When Jacques Marquette turned 17, he became a Jesuit priest. He went to many different Jesuit colleges in France and entered the Society of Jesus before going to Canada in 1666. Louise Joliet went to a Jesuit school to study religion, philosophy, and music. He studied to become a priest, but stopped in 1667. In 1672, they were sent by the governor of France to find a trade route to the Pacific. They were looking for a river in the south of what is now the United States to lead them to China. When the explorers entered Lake Winnebago, they encountered a Native American tribe. The tribe showed them the Wisconsin River that led them to the Mississippi on June 17, 1673. They figured the river emptied into the Gulf of Mexico, so they turned back due to fear of being captured by Spaniards. On their way back near St. Ignace, Marquette had a flux in blood and was pronounced a dying man. On May 18, 1675, at the mouth of the Michigan River, Jacques Marquette was pronounced dead. On his way back, Joliet was going through the rapids of Lachine when his canoe capsized. When I was just about to reach Montreal, my canoe capsized and I lost two men and the box in which were all my papers and journals, with some rarities of those far off countries. This was a quote from Louise Joliet about his loss on his journey. When he returned to Quebec, Louise Joliet married Claire Francois Bizot. In Joliet's lifetime, he had explored from nearly the Arctic to the Gulf of Mexico. Jacques Marquette and Louise Joliet made new trade routes throughout the United States and expanded France's exploration. This documentary was brought to you by Gorton History Channel.